the, the easiest part is always the most complicated. I'm Caro Sorvino from CRD and we're filming the first episode of Caffeine and Gasoline. <laughs> So tell me about your role within CID, like what's your role within this whole amazing world you've built? I think uh, a lot of people that see us on social media think that I'm like a model or like that I just like get on a bike and take photos. But I think I'm the person that like you speak to when you call CRD, the person that you answers all your emails. I do social media. Uh, when someone orders a bike, I'm there from the start to the end. So if the bike has to be delivered around Spain or in Madrid, I do the one-to-one -one contact with the client, I write the blogs. I do a bit of everything, really. Even if it looks so big on social media, we're, we're still like small in a way, and we want to keep it small. So we all kind of do a lot of things at the same time. Being here with all the bikes, like, there seems to be like a massive like, art inspiration, like, even around all the buildings and stuff. There's art everywhere. Do you guys kind of, does that influence the brand and like your builds? I like that you say that, because I think the brand itself is built around building not just the, the mechanics but the art like we want people to see the bike online and then see it in real life and be like it's much better you know like the aesthetics here is like number one Jaime he's a big art collector like he loves his art he loves his street art so he's put that influence into the bikes and I think it, wor it works really well that makes us stand out from the rest <laughs> Like, tell me about Jaime and what's his involvement with CRD? So Jaime is the CEO of CRD. He took over like three years ago. Uh, he's like the person that like paves the road for us. And we just like kind of like follow with our different ideas. And he's the person that like lets us like dream big and tells us to dream big. But he also tells us to like, it's okay to like fuck up and you have to fuck up. That's the only way we're going to reach where, wherever you want to, we want to reach. I think his main focus is for us to have, have fun and to inspire people to build their bikes or to buy into our lifestyle. I think he cares a lot about the values and like the spiritual and inspirational part of CRD and how it makes other people happy. And, and he understands the freedom that there is by riding one of these CRDs and he, that's what he wants to promote the most. When you say, People mimic your builds. Like, if there was like, I don't know, like a carbon copy of your bike, someone else has done, and then a CRD build next to it, what would be the three words that someone could go, that's a CRD build, that's why I know that's you guys? I don't know if I want to say mimic our builds. I mean, they find a lot of inspiration in our builds, and I like that. Like, we like, we like that. We like seeing people from like Indonesia send us like CRD93 into like this bike and then just stick like a CRD sticker onto it and send it to us and be like, look, it looks the same. Like, like it makes us stoked and it's nice that we inspire other people. Uh, I think if you see, if you see like a CRD and a non-CRD right next to each other, but they're the same model, kind of like the same idea. Uh, I, I, just, I wouldn't be able to be like, no, like this, I could say like the stitching and the seat and the color and a few other things, maybe the inverted fork. Not many people put inverted forks. But like, I think it's more like something that you just can't pinpoint, but you know. Like, you just know it's not. It's like, feeling. yeah, like when you're a sneaker head and you see sneakers and they're not like Nikes or whatever, and people won't notice, but the real sneaker head looks at it and they're like, definitely not, not like real ones. Because you just know the quality and you know like what surrounds it. So I think for sure I would be able to identify like there's, and most people. <laughs> So what's been like the high point for like CRD? What's been like the most defining moment for you? I think there's been a lot of defining moments, but probably um, getting someone like David Beckham to like choose us to be featured in one of his like Biotherm um, ads. We got an email from Biotherm and we thought it was a joke, obviously, because we get so many emails at the same time every day. And they were like, David Beckham's requesting your bike to be featured in a Biotherm ad that he's doing in the UK. And at, at first we were a bit like skeptical because yeah. it's David Beckham. It's like the guy that we're like building for. Like he's like the type of guy that we want to be riding like a CRD. Yeah.
Yeah, so like, tell me about the like, collaboration between obviously Pinko and CRD. How did that, how's uh, it been for you guys? I think uh, it was super smooth, the whole thing, because we, we got in contact with you guys and you guys answered, which we thought we, you wouldn't, because we hadn't seen oh, yeah. any collabs at all of you yeah. guys. I thought you guys were just like gonna like focus on yourselves and like how, what you do and we're never thinking about collabing, like doing a collaboration. But when you answered, it was just all very fast and you're like, yeah. Send me a design. So I sent you like a, I remember I sent you like a slide with like different things yeah, that yeah. I liked. And then like a few hours later, you answered with like designs and I was like, change this and this. I don't, and then you just- I think it went through just, like five men's like yeah, so quickly, didn't it? It was so fast like that. And you're like, I need to do it now, like whatever. I was like, this looks quite cool. Yeah. And then just went, went for it. And it's come out quite nice. I think it was easy. I think we always, we got on like in LA and it was, it's been an easy like relationship Yeah. so far. Yeah, Doing yeah, the clothes yeah. has been like the easiest bit and we shot it yesterday. Yeah. It looks I, amazing, so honestly, I can't wait to get it online. Yeah, same. I honestly think that you guys, like, the way you work, I've told you like a couple times already, but like, I love the way you work. It's like fun, like yeah. super professional, and you guys know, Control. like, all of you know exactly what you have to do. And yeah. like, there's no like ifs or buts about that. So you're all like in your own little world, but in like, it's just the final like thing comes out so nicely. I don't think it's it's not unbeatable your content. I honestly think that. I'm not saying it just because we're on camera. You guys seem to have like the gasoline side of the business nailed. Like, but how does like caffeine tie in with you guys? I think like the cafe racer world, like cafe itself means coffee, but the cafe racer world is all about riding, having fun, taking coffee because you need to ride more and you need to have more fun. So. Uh, when you wake up early to ride or you wake up early to like build, I think the caffeine is always like something that you need. I just, we love coffee, so I don't know about you guys. Yeah, we do. <laughs>